ground. And movement straight away. Matthews equally to the task as she steers the ball down to third man for the first boundary of the day. And advancement by Knight and she hits it up and over, long off. And she joins Matthews having Knight going fitting that Osborne comes on. Another country, New South Welsh woman herself from Tari. She played across the line there and it's given. There it is, the first wicket for the Southern Stars has fallen. Kaisia Knight playing across the line, trying to work it to the onside. Matthews one shy of a 50. And she looks to bring it up in the one shot. And that she will. She's gone through for one. She'll come back comfortably for two. As the teamwork there between Beams and Villani. And taking the pace off it and it's dropped. And it could be a chance for a run out. Keepers in. It's a direct hit. But Taylor has made it through. Well. Wow. It's the short ball. And it's down leg. And there's a big appeal. And she's got her. The short ball once again has been the undoing. Both teams still looking for that big score. Will this be a big out? It will be. It's Matthews. She's gone. Well, Dotton tries to go up and over the offside, but she's managed to get a thick outside edge. So Farrell from the pavilion end. Oh, and she's out. Played on. Wicket straight up for the Australian Southern Stars. To have a game with the Foundation 11. Another good bit of sharp running there from the West Indians. And a hamstring by the looks. Jermaine Campbell is being assisted off the ground. A nasty injury. So she is retiring. Number 11, 12. Captain Marissa Aguilera. 39 overs gone. And there's a chance for a stumping. Alyssa Healy exceptionally quick behind the wickets and she's gone. Out of the back of the hand. It's a slog sweep and it's gone straight down the ground. And that's not a bad way to get off the mark. Well, it's a thick outside edge, and it is racing away. They'll have to run it, though, will they? No, the ball is going to beat Beams to the boundary. Onside field. It's well protected at the moment. She goes big again. It's going towards Osborne, and she takes a comfortable catch. So after the little fumble in the field, she's right back on song. Similar field. She tries to go up and over, but she won't get there, and it's a comfortable catch. So Muhammad departs. Here we go. Ideally, for the bat on <laughs> Probably not, not run when the, <laughs> the ball has gone through, straight through to the keeper. So, 50 overs have been completed here at the Bradman Oval in Barrel. That's 50 overs for the West Indies. The West Indies after a strong seven start, 97 for the first. West Indies as well. It's going to be Deandra Dotton from the pavilion end. The wind, as I say that, has picked up again. It'll go from left of right of screen. And it's a plane of miss to uh, get this Australian run chase. Oh, and it's Boulder. She's got her. There you go. Stephanie Taylor. Oh, it's short one. She's had a dip and she's out. And that's a lovely shot. On the front foot was Elise Perry, and she has just caressed it through the offside. <laughs> So Munro adjusts, but adjusts too much, and it's pitched on leg, and it's worked way. Movement by Lanning creates the full toss, and it's also created the boundary. This time through the offside for Lanning. And that will be her 50. <laughs> Thank you, Hayley. <laughs> And that's short and it's misfield on the dive and that will race across the square leg boundary. Defining points of her play. As we see the 50 that's come up 50. for Elise Perry. So while Meg Lanning has been blazing away one end, there's been a fantastic supportive role that's at the other end. That's the century for Elise Perry in the series. 
she pushes there back and she pumps it through the onside and there it is it is a hundred to Meg Lanning the first female to score a hundred at the Bradman Oval this becomes difficult for teams when two for 188 on the board and a rank full toss is not going to help them out to someone she goes back you know, talk about sense of occasion it's probably fitting that Meg Lanning brings up the winning runs. It's a lovely shot just to go to her highlights tape. It's going to be a long highlights tape this afternoon because she's played an absolutely wonderful knock to here at the, the Donald Bradman Oval. It's an eight-wicket win to the Australian Southern Stars. They go three-zip up. In this four-match series and also maintains their top position in the ICC Championship.